Hi everyone, welcome back. We are doing a nice gentle flow for flexibility today. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So beginning today in a nice comfy seat where we get to work on sitting still for a few moments. Ah, so take a big inhale, lengthen your spine, close your eyes, take an even bigger exhale, soften your shoulders, and take another big breath in and out. One more nice deep inhale and let it go. Awesome, you guys. Continue to breathe in any way that feels good for you. Maybe wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and then start to slow it down. Finding some stillness throughout the body. Feel your sit bones getting a little heavier on the ground below you. And maybe lengthening your spine again with an inhale. Notice if you can feel your tummy moving as you breathe in and out. Maybe noticing a small space coming between the lips as you soften your jaw. body to remain completely still. Just let your chin start to fall down towards your collarbone nice and slow. Keeping your body nice and still. Use an inhale and lift your chin back up really slow. Finding that neutral place where your neck is in line with your spine. Chin is parallel to the floor. And like, let's take just three more full cycles of breath. And after your third exhale, Slowly start to open up your eyes. And for some reason, I always want to smile. <laughs> oh, we're going to slowly make our way into tabletop onto our hands and knees. <sighs> Spreading the fingers wide. Bringing your knees underneath your hips. Maybe rocking it out. 
finding center if you are rocking your hips and taking an inhale as you drop your belly towards your mat. Lift your chest, maybe the chin. As you exhale, start to round through the spine, push into your palms, bring your chin towards your collarbone. Inhale, drop your belly again. Lift your chest, maybe your chin. Exhale as you round it out. Give that tummy a squeeze. One more breath here. Inhale, dropping your belly. And exhale, round it out. Use an inhale, find your way back into a nice flat back. Tuck your toes, deep inhale here. Exhale, lift up into your downward facing dog. Pushing into your palms, maybe pedaling your feet. Feel those shoulders, feel those calves. And then take an inhale as you gaze forwards. Exhale, walk your feet to the top of your mat. With an inhale, lift halfway, long spine. Exhale to fold forwards. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Reach up, maybe look up. And exhale as you lower your hands in front of your heart. Down to your sides, take a shoulder roll. A big inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, planting your hands, stepping back into your downward facing dog. Take a nice big inhale. With the exhale, lower your knees down to your mat into tabletop. Lift on up, standing on your knees. Feel free to roll your mat over to give those knees extra cushion. We're going to bring our hands to our hips or the low back. With an inhale, start to lift the chest. Send your hips forwards a little bit and your shoulders back. You can lift your chin. You might even let your fingertips point up towards the shoulders. Camel pose, take an inhale and an exhale. And then use an inhale to bring your shoulders forwards and an exhale to sit back on your heels. You can bring your knees a little bit closer together. Just take an inhale here as you lengthen through your spine. Exhale, soften your shoulders. And then using an inhale, reach your arms all the way up above your head. Interlace the fingers, start to lift your chin. You can lean back a little bit here if it feels good or just come straight up. Breathe. Nicely done, you guys. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, let your arms fall back down to your sides and your heels or your hips lift from your heels. If your knees were right together, you can separate them a little bit hip width apart. Hands to the hips again or the low back. Your fingers can point up or down. Send the hips forwards as you lift up through the chest. Inhale, lift the chin a little bit. Pull those shoulders back slightly. One more full breath here. Inhale and exhale. And then use the inhale to bring you forwards. Exhale, sit back on your heels. Maybe bring your knees together again. Take an inhale as you lengthen through your spine. Exhale, soften your shoulders. Let your chin fall down towards your collarbone. Feel the length through the back of the neck. Awesome, you guys. Take another breath here. And with an inhale, lift your chin. Lift your hips. Come back to standing on your knees, except we're going to be bringing our right leg out to the side. You can actually bring your hands to the floor to help you bring your leg out to the side. Point your toes straight forwards if you can. Keeping our hips high, we're going to start to lower onto our forearms. Feeling the length through that leg. You can walk your arms over to your foot and lay down your shoulder and even rest your cheek if you would like. Keeping the hips high. Awesome. 
Awesome, you guys. Using an inhale, we're going to start to lift back up. Send your right leg in and your left leg out. Point your toes forwards as best you can. Maybe lift on up. Make some adjustments. Bring your hands back down. Keep your hips high. Lower to your forearms or even your chest. You can walk your hands over towards your foot. Any amount. Try to lay down the shoulder. Rest a cheek. Relax a little bit. Stretch the leg. Stretch the shoulder. Awesome, you guys. Using an inhale, let's slowly start to lift back up. Bring your knee in. Find your tabletop. Maybe rock your hips side to side a moment. Shake it out a little bit. And then you can cross your ankles. Have a seat. Bring your legs out in front. And we're going to lay all the way down on our backs. So come on down, bring your feet nice and close to your hips, about hip width apart as well. Resting your arms at your sides, palms facing down. Maybe you can lightly touch your fingertips to the back of your heels, maybe not. But using an inhale, start to lift your hips, push into your feet. Lift your hips, lift your chest. You might even tuck your shoulders under. You might even interlace your fingers and push your arms into the floor a little bit to lift the chest a little more. Bridge pose. Awesome, you guys. Maybe the heels want to lift. You can push into the balls of the feet, lift the hips higher, lift the chest higher. Take one more inhale and letting the exhale bring your hips down. Untuck the shoulders, bring the heels down, rock the hips side to side a couple times. Massage your low back. Start to heel toe your feet out to the edges of your mat. Let your knees come out to the edges of your mat as well. So feet wide, knees wide. Rest your arms at your sides. We're gonna use an inhale, lift the hips again, wide legged bridge pose. Lift the hips. Maybe tuck the shoulders, maybe interlace the fingers, push your arms into the back, into the ground. Maybe lift the chest. Maybe lift the heels. Take one more inhale and let the exhale bring your hips down. Untuck the shoulders and lower the heels as well. A little rock side to side. Massage your low back. Awesome work, you guys. You can heel toe your feet back towards one another. And you can continue to rock side to side with the knees. And you can also reach your arms out wide, weighting down the shoulders. We're going to let our knees fall over towards the left for a twist. Stack your knees on top of one another. Shimmy your shoulders, keep that right side down. Take a nice big breath in and out. And another deep breath in and out. Awesome, you guys, use a nice deep inhale. Bring your knees up out of your twist. Plant your feet. Couple more rocks side to side, massage your low back maybe. Our knees are going to fall over towards the right whenever you're ready. Setting up your twist. Shimmy those shoulders a little bit. Keep that left shoulder down. And breathe just a little bit deeper. Some work, you guys, using an inhale when you're ready to bring your knees back up. Resting the low back. You could rock it out a little bit more. You could even pull your knees in towards your chest. 
massaging the low back. You can stay here, feet on the floor, holding onto your knees, or you can even start to find some length through the legs. And maybe as you bring your knees towards your chest, your low back wants to lift and lift. And you find your way into plow or halfway into plow as your big toes try to find the floor above your head. Like a forward fold on our backs. And with the low back lifted, as slow as you can, start to bring it back down. Nice and slow. And let the legs bend. Oh, let the feet find the floor. And maybe another rock side to side, massage the low back. You might have to lift your heels to connect the low back to the mat. And if the heels are lifted, start to bring them down. Heel toe your feet all the way together and let your knees fall out wide. Making a diamond shape with the legs. Resting your right hand on your belly. Your left hand on your heart. Closing your eyes. Finding the breath. If you would like to send your legs out long, your feet out wide. Maybe your hands are just going to stay where they are. Feel the rise and fall of your tummy. Feel every part of you that's touching the ground get a little heavier. Staying here in Shavasana for as long as you have time for today. I will meet you back here tomorrow. Namaste.